My name is Xavier, that's Xavier with an S, not an X, that's French, but I was born in Malta. The play is about my granny, it's called Granny's Exploding Toilet, and it's based on a real event where my granny's toilet blew up. In reality, my granny had like a gas canister in her toilet, and she used to sneak in there and have a smoke when my grandpa wasn't looking, and one day she dropped her pipe, and there was a gas leak from the rubber pipe and the toilet blew up. But when I started doing stories about my granny about 30 years ago, uh, kids didn't, in England didn't know what a gas canister is, so I turned it into a barrel of gunpowder. And as you can see, she's got green hair, but it's not really her hair, it's a wig, because when the toilet blew up, her hair got burnt off and it never grew back. I started doing storytelling in schools about 30 years ago. And one day I just mentioned Granny, just like off the cuff, and I said my Granny was a storyteller and she used to sort of like tell me a lot of stories. And I used to be bullied a bit when I was a kid, but I found out that if you told stories, especially like funny stories, people forgot to bully you and they sort of laugh with you rather than at you. So I started telling like jokes about my Gran, and eventually that became stories that I used in schools. And then I wanted to write a book about it, but somehow I couldn't translate the jokes that I told in school into like a book narrative. And so I abandoned the idea. And then about a year ago, I started doing workshops at creation studios in Scarborough schools. Cheryl called me in for a discussion about whether I wanted to write a play. And I spent a whole week thinking of like, really where to write ideas like, to write about. And when I came in, she said, all oh, the feedback forms that the kids filled in from the afternoon school clubs are about, all, all, all about your grand. So we want a story about your granny. Yeah, so I've written nearly a hundred books. When um, I started off writing like information books about pirates, because the country where I was born, Malta, was like a pirate island, so I knew loads of like, pirate legends and pirate facts. Then I gradually moved into writing historical novels and that was about four years ago and I wrote a series called Ancient Greek Mysteries which are sort of like Sherlock Holmes and Watson for kids based in ancient Greece. Well, it's going to be quite funny. I would advise you not to sit in the front row. Um, and I think it's not just like a funny story though, there's loads and loads of jokes in it. But it's also a boy, about a boy based on me who um, is, lacks confidence because everybody keeps telling him he's useless and he hides the fact that he's not quite sure whether why Granny's in prison or whether she's even in prison. He fantasizes about her being on a cruise and people are just being unkind saying she's banged up in jail and then Granny escapes because she needs to save her house from falling into the sea like the Holbeck Hotel. And she sort of teaches Sam how to believe in himself, and that changes him by the end of the play. So funny, educational, and explosive. <laughs> yeah, and I've like, realised because you know my granny used to tell us that she knew the Queen. Yes. And she used to tell us, oh, the Queen had uh, the Queen had the first Morris Minor in Malta and we always thought she was joking and yesterday I found out it was true. <laughs> <laughs>